Have you ever felt stressed about not knowing if you're doing the right thing with your life or not knowing if you're capable of achieving something great or not knowing if you made the right decision for your future or even if you have enough time to still forge your future or if you didn't learn as much as you should have in school or if you're wasting your time and money or if you accidentally kill someone because you didn't know what you were doing? Well, welcome to engineering and by the time you're in your third year, you're going to be having some sleepless nights. I seriously can't tell you how many all-nighters I pulled or how much time I spent feeling like I was drifting between different levels of misery and psychosis, but the truth is that it's all self-induced. You know, you have two options in life, get good or give up, and if you don't mind redoing courses or having a low GPA, then you probably won't feel much stress. But if you want to do well, every second, regardless of whether you're at uni or on holidays, will be tainted by the haunting stress of engineering. Because when you're studying, you're going to want to see your friends and family and game or do anything else that isn't as stressful. And when you aren't studying, you're going to feel anxious and stressed because you know you should be studying. It's, it's great. But there are a few things that somehow make it bearable enough to not make you want to do primary empirical research into the thrust produced by an open artery. Firstly, you ease into it. Your first two years have some difficult courses, but generally you'll probably do well and think that engineering's difficulty is overrated. Then you'll hit the last two years and lose your hair, youthful energy and tolerance for civil engineers who love to say how difficult advanced fern mechanics and sand analysis is. Goddamn civils. Also, I guess the stress does kind of make you feel accomplished once you get through it and your tolerance and endurance will go up. And so, yes, you're going to be stressed. You're going to want to quit and get a full-time job sweeping streets. You might even consider switching to, God forbid, an arts degree, but I think you already know this, and I suspect that for some of you, it might be part of what attracts you to engineering, because it will prove to the world and yourself that you're capable of more than most people, and if that's the case, you're well suited to it. And guys, thank you all for watching, and subscribe for more videos like this. Good luck out there. I can't wait